Hi, I'm Tim Robel and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. I've had a few of you guys reach out to me about the Humvee project. Um, so if you've been following the channel, you know that uh, I'm leaving in January to do at least one year in Oscar Mike, my expedition uh, vehicle build. But the Humvee, uh, I searched for this vehicle for about a year and found a super clean 1165 has AC 65 uh, turbo in it with a four speed. Uh, super clean. It's the 115 chassis. Um, I did do a two inch body lift on it and I've wrapped or lined it. So if I could get a like uh, thumbs up and comments, uh, please let me know if you would like to see me build this uh, vehicle out into an expedition uh, four wheel drive overland type vehicle um i have six of these hutchinson uh beadlock wheels double beadlocks with the uh yokohama 40 inch geolando lander tires on it uh, i have everything to build this out sherpa winch um i have my snowmaster air uh snowmaster uh, refrigerator freezer i have a sink i have a water tank i have a pump um i have a cubic mini wood stove i have everything as far as um building this out for a camper uh, probably got 90 percent of the uh, material steel in stock probably at least 50 percent of the uh, aluminum in stock to make this thing go so when i got this i did a, a raptor liner on it um and painted it white just to kind of at least paint it as far as i could go um with um things that i'm not going to cover up i should say um so I am going to do dual spares on it and kind of build it like I'm sure the people that have been watching my channel are familiar with my GMC Canyon adventure truck. Um, going to do some type of platform relatively the same as that, but I believe um, I'm going to do a high low uh, camper version. So I'm only going to be about two foot over this windshield and uh, I have four linear actuators that are rated for 2,200 pounds a piece to make the top go a hard, hard side, uh, high, low. So I think that would be a cool, cool deal. Um, we'll see how far I can get on it in a, a five months. But if somebody wanted to buy this, I think I, I'm going to let it go down the road. So I just don't have one more distraction before I leave. But um, please, in the comments, uh, let me know how many of you would like to see uh, this vehicle built out. Is this something that I'm going to be uh, ripping you off of? <laughs> Not letting you see me build this. But uh, I got some really neat concepts of what I want to do on this. Um, kind of a next level from what the GMC Canyon was. Um, and even up in the game from what I did in my big expedition truck, Ox Oscar Mike. Um, as you build stuff, your skill level goes up. I'm not trying to really take on another project. I really don't want to. Um, as I'm selling off the shop, but I can pretty much build this thing with uh, chop saw and my uh, MIG welder. Uh, questions and comments. Hit me up. Hit me up uh, what I'm thinking about doing. Um, why I wanted to build this is I wanted something to be a little bit more backcountry bound, more uh, four-wheel drive-ish than my GMC Canyon. I consider it more of a going down the road and making... Um, Making good distance. Uh, the canyon, you know, it'll go down the road at uh, 80 miles an hour on cruise control. Um, you know, you're in up in Utah. Um, sit back, relax. It's 14 miles a gallon. Has plenty of power to pull all the passes and do it really well. But uh, I've always wanted a Humvee. I finally got one. And then I had the opportunity to get the, uh, the X doors that are actually Kevlar doors that are armored. Uh, it's a light armor. The windows are one inch thick, and then the front windows are an inch and a half thick with the AR500 uh, frame. So it's armored. Do I need armored? No, I don't. But does it have a cool factor of 10? For sure. Uh, this vehicle actually came with the forging kit on it, uh, 14 kit. Um, it has, you know, the dipstick stick seals and all of that, plus the snorkel on it. Um, I've already converted it to the LED lights. I have brand new uh, uh, LED lights from Truck Lights. And then I have an infrared um, light that goes here that would be uh, kind of a cool military homage uh, to some stuff. But uh, let me know what you think. Um, I think here in the, uh, the next couple of weeks, I'll finish up the BMW. Um, 
get it back to its home and then uh, I may start on this or if like I said I get I get the right offer as I'm building it I will continue to advertise it but the price is just gonna keep going up I got really nice seats it's gonna have a internal cage in it uh, that supports the camper um, should be a really neat build um, but yeah please hit me up in the questions comments uh, let me know what you think um, should I build should I just uh, you know, right now there's no other choice. I have it for sale, just like I have everything else for sale. But um, there is a huge part of me that wants to build this. I got the Max Air fans. I got the whole kit for it. Um, can't wait to actually knock it out and um, there'll be some value in it. But I'm going to be on the road and I'm trying not to have a whole bunch to come back to. Um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I got a lot more adventures coming. Um, as I hit the road, I'm going to be starting season one, episode one. That will go a full year long of my journeys on the road. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, let me know what you think. I'm Tim Robel, and I'll catch you here next time.